In this video, let us learn how to track near critical activities in Primera P6. Once you are in control of all the critical activities, then you need to focus on the near critical activities as these are the activities with less floats and can become critical with minor delays. So let us see how we can show the near critical activities in schedule for better tracking. First, let us create a new filter called near critical. Click on filter icon, click on new and give the name. In the parameter field, select total float condition as is within the range of enter the lower value as 0.1D and for the higher value cell type 10 days 10D you can decide on the high value based on your convenience that you want to track click OK and exit from this filter dialog box deselect the near critical filter and view all activities and click OK. Now let us modify the bars in the Gantt chart. Right click in the Gantt chart section and select bars. Click on add button. In the name cell type as near critical. Under time scale select remain bar from the drop down menu. Under the filter select the default normal filter and also the newly created filter near critical, click OK. In the bar style tab at the bottom of this dialog window, select the unique color such as pink color to easily identify. Just ensure that this near critical bar is below the non-critical and normal bar. You can adjust the position by shifting up or down. Now click on apply or OK. You will observe that non-critical bars in green color, critical bars in red and near critical bars in pink color like this. Yellow bars are the baseline bars. So all activities whose total float is less than 10 days will be shown in pink color which is nothing but our near critical activities. Now it is easier for everyone to notice the near critical activities and take care of them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.